Hello. Hi, my name is Shwa and I'm the host and founder of a podcast called Light Up with Shwa. It's a weekly podcast on conscious living and parenting. Mm-hmm. I have a very special guest today and uh, I am sure you will enjoy our conversation and she is my friend since 20 plus years. She is a lot of things but I will allow her to introduce herself and let uh, let's learn what who she is and what does she do. Yes please Sara. Well, I don't know how to introduce myself but the easiest way would be that we met long time back almost as you said 22 years more than yeah 25 years actually to 25. be exact yes yeah and we met that means we were 30 when we met we <laughs> <laughs> don't want to talk about that age yet. that's why i said 35 years ago five we were in kindergarten 35 yes <laughs> i was born and brought up in india coming from a punjabi sikh family of jalandhar of course i was born in delhi way back when mrs gandhi was the prime minister and they, she started a 20 point programs where i was chosen to be a young entrepreneur we were in a training and mm. after a year or so yeah we mm. after our graduation we, we were chosen to be the young entrepreneurs with one year training we were given a loan and a place to start a factory or a small scale industry that's how i started my textile printing which was a very cottage industry like a block printing and a screen right. printing of sarees so my production at that time was like 100 sarees a day in screen printing and about oh, wow. 50 sarees in block printing at the same time simultaneously i was also i was a very go getter at that time young age. of course i've mellowed down a lot with passage of time and then uh i started my course on aesthetician also and then i felt that i should come to america and start take some advanced courses in that that is how i transported myself from delhi to us Mm. interestingly i met my husband who was a pakistani who is a pakistani <laughs> <laughs> and we got married thank you so much for the introduction and because uh, she's a grandmother not only mm-hmm. a mother but a grandmother so from the grandmother's yes. lens and point of view we were earlier uh, in the evening talking about something and i was asking her what do you think is the pain point of uh, parents or grandparents nowadays so she mentioned a topic which i it was kind of on my list but not really on on the top in the sense that there are so many things happening in our world today that we need to talk about but this is also very important which is that there are parents are having challenging time with their children in what in screen time and that the issue is parenting children in the age of screens so pew research center had some research on it from 2020 so i was like okay sara let's talk about that because you as being a grandparent mm-hmm. uh, i am not a grandparent yet but i have uh, grown up children also No. Uh, and but no. i am very concerned because my topic of my podcast is conscious living and parenting and parenting, parenting is a major part of our life and every age has its own issues so what is the issue in your point of view which i just mentioned that there is a research also that uh, children having too much screen time and how to balance it so you are seeing that is that an issue with your grandson and uh, uh shwa I, i yeah sorry i sorry i cut you so, go ahead no no go ahead the thing is shwa that i would start with something like you know i see my daughter she is also working and she has a 7 years old boy yeah so we are talking here about sorry i will uh, point out children under 10 for now We are okay. not going to get into teen- teenager and adults because you know it's a big topic and yes, so we will talk about your age. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So From I would I would what I'm what I think is that parenting has become 
very difficult now. It is not at, as easy as like decades, two decades back when uh, my when our parents were bringing us up. Things were very different then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now parenting is absolutely a different ball game. I, I see a lot of challenges that our children are facing. Like what I see is now after the pandemic, when uh-huh. most of our children are working from home, uh-huh. people who have more than one or two children at home, how difficult it must be for the mothers. Uh-huh. And unlike in, in our times, you know, responsibility, for the mother was much more. Mm-hmm. But now I see father and a mother both have to join hands to bring up the children now. Mm-hmm. So they have to share the responsibilities, share the timings. And it's not easy. I don't see it. It's a very easy thing to do. And just I will uh, add something here that uh, the Pew Research said that uh, parents parenting mm-hmm. is harder today. I'm quoting from their research than 20 years ago. So Sarah, I mean, it's getting harder to manage children to manage at the same children. time. So now I also will argue that some people are saying, well, this is their age. This is mm-hmm. the time of social media, the gadgets and all. That's that's the life. So why take away, you know? That's the also some it's, of them are saying. It's not a matter of taking away or depriving <clears throat> them of their time with the screen. It yeah. is managing the timing. Yeah, exactly. you have to manage. You cannot take away, but manage. Yes, manage. Right. Create a yeah. balance. And so, what do you think? Have you have you have you figured I, out something? Have you suggested to your daughter? Yes. What What do you think? How can she balance? In no, her we we are balancing at home. Like when he come, when my grandson comes home, uh-huh. we have a family time where he sits on okay. a table while he's changing his clothes and he's eating. He tells uh-huh. what's what he had been doing in school, if he got into trouble with teacher or if he got into trouble with any of the uh, the schoolmates or his friends on the playground or the So he's telling all his stories and how he he had his... He shares his stories. So my Mm -hmm. daughter and me, we both sit with him. We Mm -hmm. make it a point to sit with him to see that he is watching something which is related to his age. Mm, like, that's important i have seen a lot of parents and mothers what they do is they put the tv on and they walk out maybe to their room or the study room or do their job or they have the meetings they close their door and start some meeting mm. you know and never leave a child with a tv or a computer or a games alone because mm. internet is a beautiful thing it's a very double edged thing you know Hmm. sooner than you know they can go to any wrong site yep. Yep. my daughter has instilled uh, one thing in him that he ha- he comes home and he tells everything to us to his mother that helps, that yeah, helps. That helps. but you have hmm. to make that kind of confidence with your children hmm. don't get annoyed with them if they're doing wrong I have hmm. seen daughter sitting with him for hours together to explain and to make him understand that this is wrong and this is right from right to wrong wrong to right it takes Mm. a lot of effort that's what i'm saying parenting these days is not easy it's a Mm. very tough job okay so spend more time and make sure that you spend enough quality time with your child when he or she comes from school first of all Mm -hmm. And also know what's going on in school. Parent has to be attentive. Absolutely. See, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to know their the teachers. Talk. Yeah, their teachers, mm-hmm. they should know their teachers. They should know their bus uh, drivers, uh, who they yes. are, right? Mm-hmm. That's also uh, yes. an important thing. Uh, they shouldn't be going to somebody's house without you knowing, uh, or, That's you know, getting off somewhere else. Very, no, but nowadays, sure. Whenever they, the children are going to each other's house, parents mm. don't leave them there. Mm. They sit outside in the car Yeah, yeah. when they have a play dates That's or true. they have a common place. Mm. No, they never go to each other's house. I mean, it's, it's not allowed. Yeah. They go on a common places like a park 
or so they are the both the parents can be around all the parents are around. there they are responsible you know, that's how they have their play dates yes so, so you have to manage you have to hmm. give them a time well it's your time for one hour it's it's and that should come as a reward to them if they do hmm. something good like i tell them that's a very good point you know, yes i saw my sister doing that yes it's it's like a reward to them Uh-huh. okay if you are going to finish your homework in such and such time or if you go and do your piano lessons if you have to do 10 lessons you will have 10 minutes to play a game mm-hmm. on on the computer or on the tv stadia or playstation whatever you know so what does I mean? he enjoy what he is doing like his activities or he is more focused on how how when will he get to no, his this, schedule this is what i'm saying exactly the mm-hmm. same thing like you know if you tell that you're going to do this you will get uh-huh. 10 more minutes like he uh-huh. has half an hour every day to play uh-huh. a game okay. and that is divided you know one day is a cartoon uh-huh. one day he plays a game the other oh, day oh okay okay then we play with him and then he has his time to go outside it is okay. very very important for the children these to days to have yeah. outside okay. games like you know uh-huh. i have seen that children are so into like in the rooms they sit uh-huh. in their rooms and they play the games by themselves and you don't know what they are playing yeah and that's so- why they are uh, uh, sorry i would add there because uh, that's why they say their children are more depressed they don't have they are all socially awkward now because they don't know how to interact with other people or other children yes yes and they would rather be sitting behind They're the, the loners they become loners yes. exactly so i think it is very much important because you uh, and i are from multicultural diverse backgrounds mm-hmm. uh, it's important for us uh, that we address our communities mm-hmm. to pay attention to that but that's you know true. back then we had more of an outdoor activities that's true yeah you know we used more to play activities. outside more and then we were we grew up with communal, more extended families you know, we we yes. grew up in a community yeah. yep okay. yep i remember we used to when we were kids we used to go and play outside and mm-hmm. you know boys what kind of games did you play outside why don't you share that well what 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 outdoor activities did you do we, <laughs> we used to play cricket with boys <laughs> yeah exactly yeah i have done baseball I used to play cricket football, baseball badminton gulli danda you know those gulli danda uh, yes marbles we used to play marbles, marbles with boys yeah So it was more did you a, did you ride bikes if you had bikes at that yes, time yes everybody had bikes yes absolutely yeah. we used to rent out okay so riding bikes riding then bikes. also uh, yeah many activities yeah. Outdo- outside yeah we we generally we only used to have an outdoor activities there was yes. no screen time and no, tv used to be very yeah. rare you know highlights here are that parents Sara is saying and I would say too as a parent and she's a grandmother also from her uh, lens of a grandmother and I'm sure she's watching and friends with other grandmothers and parents mm-hmm. yes who absolutely. are going through such uh, situations where they are talking to you like oh Sara you know are you having this problem what what do we do how do we discipline children don't listen this that and the other um I would say that uh, in my times when my children were little you have to discipline as you said from the very mm-hmm. beginning for example i'll give you an example if you start feeding a child while he or she is walking and you're taking the plate and going oh after God. that child it's the same thing you you're yes. not dealing with the gadget but what are you doing as a parent you are making the child used to walking and eating and not telling him or her to sit on the table and relax and to respect your food and then sit and eat so that's mm-hmm. why i want to bring this point also that what you said was now she was feeding him or her yeah she was doing but, as a mother's but, duty she thought it was yeah but then you are not uh, yeah but you're not really you're making his habits worse because he's not going to know how to sit and eat absolutely i right? remember i have seen a case also um, in my family you know the boy the girl will not eat food so the mom will put, take her uh, iphone and she would put a cartoon on that oh yeah i have seen that oh, very cool they are wa- she is watching a cartoon and then the mom yeah. is feeding and feeding yes so what i think is uh, that parents are being lazy 
parents are being parents lazy. are being very very lazy i would say hmm. parents are being lazy very lazy really really very lazy so they, <laughs> they, they need to take care of these three things yes <laughs> they are they are not thinking of the future of their children but hmm. anyways so is there something that parents can learn yes uh, any tip any any tip that you can give and then i will ask you my five questions 